Sure, Melivia. Um, I, I'll make this very brief. So in this presentation for Cold Chain, um, actually, this is a very good um, illustration for Melia, um, especially when dealing with the COVID-19 vaccines. You know, these are stored and controlled in different environments and must be um, um, distributed um, according to their uh, storage requirement. For example, for Vice Pfizer um, and Moderna, they have, you can see there that Pfizer actually um, requires um, lower temperature um, to almost minus 80 degrees. And then for Moderna, um, in minus 20 degrees. And for other products um, under research and um, being developed um, in uh, about two to eight degrees Celsius. So this is actually um, valid from transport to distribution and going through um, the storage as well. So not to miss out um, or you lose the efficacy of, of these vaccines. Um, and that is why um, monitoring and recording um, the whole process in this cold chain uh, for vaccines is very, very important. Um, but in, in pharmaceutical, um, in the pharmaceutical industry, um, we're not only dealing with, with vaccine. And um, I think everybody knows that we have this compliance for um, healthcare warehouses. And there, there's, um, especially in Asia, we have this ASEAN harmonization for uh, for regulations uh, being a tropical country. And um, we have one of the warmest uh, season of the year. And therefore, th this uh, thermal mapping and monitoring is very important, not only for the finished product, but also for the raw intermediate products and also those products that are retained for further tests. Okay, so... Um, actually, it is it is elementary. Um, all these thermal mapping guidelines and all these norms about um, performing thermal mapping in healthcare warehouses can be found um, in, for example, the most popular ones are from the U.S. Pharmacopeia, uh, and the widely used is from the World Health Organization. Um, but they they speak about the same provisions, which is about um, documenting uh, how you carry out a systematic mapping procedure uh, for your for your warehouses, but also not to not to miss out on the freezer, on the cold storage rooms, uh, and other co temperature controlled stores. Um, and this uh, USP and WHO technical su supplements are actually uh, pointing on. Um, the same, the same um, um, objectives, which is to verify the calibration of temperature control and monitoring devices, um, qualification of temperature control road vehicles, and that's for the logistics and transport, and also the qualification of temperature control storage areas. And then finally, the temperature and humidity monitoring system or transport operations. And these are all what is mentioned um, in all these uh, available guidelines. Um, again, um, we can help you out. We can always be available for you. Uh, how to write a thermal mapping protocol, please keep in touch. Uh, reach out to us and we'll, we'll talk more about all this uh, thermal mapping for pharmaceutical warehouses. Um, I am go I'm, I'm very sure this will be um, distributed to all the participants. Um, so all this information will be made available to you.